got to fill this grid with nine numbers such that as we go to the right, we double the number, and as we go below, we triple it. And then we're told the sum is 13. What is the value of the number in the central cell? Well, I'm gonna start by saying that the top left one is x. It's all about getting everything in terms of x. So then we'd get two x as we double, and four x as we double again. The sum of these would be seven x. Then we're tripling as we go down, or we could just get the three x then double. That might be a little bit easier to be fair. And then here, we're gonna get 21 x, because of course we're tripling as we go down, which you can sort of see at this point, it's gonna be 63 x, but I will write them down. We're going to get 9x and then double 18x and 36x. So this adds to 63. Right, if I add these up, then I've got 70x from the top and the bottom, plus 21, 91x in total. And we're told that the sum is 13. Therefore, x must equal 13 divided by 91. Now it turns out that 13 actually goes into 91, in fact, seven times. So the answer for x is going to be 1 over 7. You know, if you're not sure about that and you've just got to try it out, you've just got to get, you've just got to write down your 13 times table. And you can, you know, can take some shortcuts. You can do 13 times 5 to get to 65 and then add on again and then add on again. So you can see it's times 7. So the value in the central cell, we're nearly there is 6x, so it's just going to be 6 times 1 over 7, therefore it's 6 over 7.